Hello and good evening. This is the Daily News podcast. I'm Navya Singh and here are the most important news that deserve your attention today. Let's get started. First is always the COVID-19 updates with more than 60,000 fresh infections and over 800 deaths in the last 24 hours. India's COVID-19 tally has gone beyond the 2.3 million mark. There have been over 6 lakh fresh cases in the last 12 days and at least 58,000 fresh infections on an average over the past one week every day. This has been the highest in the world. The death toll due to the virus in India has also surpassed the 46,000 mark. What's good news is the fact that India's rate of recovery has also improved to 70.37%. Shifting focus to Bengaluru, three people were killed in police firing and as many as 60 cops were injured after violence broke out in Bengaluru on Tuesday night over a Facebook message posted allegedly by the relative of a Congress Emily. 110 people have been arrested for the violence, stone pelting and assault on police personnel. The protesters set around two dozen cars on fire and surrounded the Congress MLA Srinivas Murthy's residence in Bengaluru. Murthy's nephew, Naveen, who allegedly posted the message on Facebook, has also been arrested now. The police took to lathi charge, tear gas and firing to disperse the violent crowd. In another major news, aviation watchdog DGCA has suspended two senior executives of AirAsia India for three months citing safety violations. The airline came under the scanner after one of the pilots alleged violations of safety norms by the carrier. Captain Gaurav Tanija, who runs a popular YouTube channel called Flying Beast, tweeted on 14th of June that he has been suspended by AirAsia for standing up for the safe operations of an aircraft and its passengers. He had also raised concerns over some personal policies including the sanctioning of sick leaves by the airline. After his complaints, a probe was ordered and the news of the suspension came soon after ascertaining the facts and conducting an inquiry. In an extremely shocking incident from Ahmednagar in Maharashtra, as many as 12 bodies of COVID-19 patients were bundled into the same ambulance and carried to a crematorium. The local municipal corporation has ordered an inquiry and decided to take strict action against those responsible in the incident. Now, two days after a 20-year-old girl from Buland Sheher in Uttar Pradesh, who was studying at a very prestigious university in the United States, died in a road accident in UP after alleged harassment, the police has claimed that facts have been distorted in the case. The police has said that they found no evidence of harassment and that during the probe in the death of Sadiq Shah Bhatti, they found a twist in the case because those linked to the girl thought of insurance money. That's all for today. I'll be back with some more important news tomorrow. Till then, stay safe, stay logical.